What's going on guys? Jonathan Rodriguez, a junior angler. We have a special guest here on my channel today, Don Adventures. What's up guys? If you guys not seen him, he knows the surf. <laughs> and obviously you guys can tell from here, we're at the beach. He's gonna teach me a little bit about fishing out here. He's gonna give some tips and tricks. What are we looking at right now? So it's called a double dropper loop. In the East Coast, they call it a chicken rig. You got your leader coming off of your main line, which we usually use a braid. Um, in case we get snagged, we don't want to lose the entire line or we don't want to stretch the entire line. So we always use braid for the main. We use a little swivel to get the twisty out of the line. We go with a fluorocarbon normally. And I'm using a 10 pound vanished fluorocarbon. We got two octopus hooks, size, I believe size 12s, I'm not sure, don't quote me on it. Yeah, small. They're pretty small, but they work. <laughs> oh, hell they yeah. work, yeah, they go right in that, in the, on, the, on the lip line. So oh, yeah. today, uh, because I'm using a light line, I'm only going with a one ounce. You rig up a little bit of squid and you cast it out. The goal today would be to find the school. Okay. Because if we stay somewhere, the school won't come to us. We exactly. gotta go to the school. So he's yeah. saying no raise, but y'all yeah. know me, I, I want to raise. So back there, I got a big boy set up with the whole squid, but basically I got the same setup here. There you go. Cool little surfing rig. All you gotta put is the hooks and the weight. Now on the okay. big one, we got fish finder rig with the two ounce weight. Might change it up depending on the condition. So yeah. Well, let's give it a go, man. Let's see what happens. Let's do this. Stay tuned, guys. Alrighty, fellas. That is the new reel, BG5000 on a nice big surf fry. It's a nice big chunk of bait. Let me check this thing out real quick. Hey guys, I already got something. <laughs> we got a shark. Dude, first cash. Oh my god. Alrighty, fellas, look at this thing. Look at that. Oh my god, dude, these things are strong. They're so strong, dude. Look at that bad boy. Woo! Thank you, Don. Alright, let's get this game. Let's get this guy back. <laughs> yeah. You go, buddy. Bon voyage, man. Nice, dude. Dude. Nice. <laughs> Let me get this grass off my line. So, yeah, you're going to deal with, you know, a lot of seaweed in the surf, especially after the big storm we just got in California. But it's part of it, you know. Look at that. Easy setup. 50-pound braid. We have right here a 2-ounce sinker, 20-pound test line. Honestly, it's a little light for what I'm trying to catch, like stingrays and big bat rays, but... That's all I had, honestly, so. I still have my squid, which is pretty amazing, so we're gonna basically hook that back on so we can get ourselves something else. <laughs> Cast this bad boy out. Go for it, all right, so Don's gonna go in and look a little more in the area. It's a little rocky for like surf species, you know, like yeah. surf perch, um, corbina, and croaker, so he's gonna go in and go that way. I'm gonna go in and toss the big boy rod out. Rod is out. I'm gonna leave this bad boy here for a bit. Keep an eye on it. And we're gonna also make our way down the bank. Let's try to catch something. We're gonna cut small pieces of squid and hopes to catch some sort of corbina or smaller fish. We got killed shrimp and some squid. The wee little piece right there. Piece right here. So we got our dropper loop right here. Go ahead and get our little shrimp. One thing I always forget to do is leave the hook point exposed. Always leave the hook point exposed, if not you're gonna miss a lot of fish. Got my squiddy toe. Go ahead and thread that onto the hook. Now we just walk with this. So I'm gonna walk a little more that I'm away and see if we can catch anything.
lot of this crap. Part of it though. going on but this setup is just ripping I think it has like 10 to 12 pound flora or mono I don't know it's like I don't have braid we're gonna keep an eye on this bigger setup and see if we can catch anything like a bat ray or something you guys when you guys come on surf honestly ocean fish you guys want the freshest bait right absolutely yeah you got to get the freshest bait that's like super priority <laughs> but because it's low tide I think I'll be able to get some mussels off the rock there you go scavenge so, off right yeah, I'm gonna start scavenging now you got I it. I was following the pipers, the birds. Yeah. I was hoping to find some sand crabs. Nothing. But I don't know what they were going for. I saw them going for something, but the pipers sure. usually means a sand crab throw. Okay. But yeah, I'll, dude. Re I'll report back. You got it, bro. You guys can go ahead and check out Don's channel. I'm going to have it in the description below. And you guys will see his day, how his day went, and how's it going. Oh no, he's coming back. <laughs> Dude, my backpack is full of fish. Come on. <laughs> I got him right there. <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, oh, I was doing, the, I did the walk of shame, dude. Yeah, it looks like you got something on, okay, right? Look at that, look at that. Yeah, there you, it's, it's, all, it's all the weed. Oh, I wish that was a fish. Oh my God. You can't tell me that doesn't look like <laughs> <laughs> and then imagine you have something on there. There's this is a great app I want to show you guys it's called Tides Near Me. You click on that app and you click on your local beach, wherever you're close, and it tells you exactly when the high tides are and the low tides are for that day. See, this is all stuff that you know, it's little things that make the fishing experience wherever you're going better, and that's I'm glad to have. Don to help me out. It's been so long dude, since I've been surf fishing and yeah. I kind of remember why I stopped. Because <laughs> the you weeds. Know, we're, 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 this is the toughest time of the year. Right. I mean, but, we are in yeah. January, guys, it's, so it's, it's like dead winter, middle, time. winter time. This is dude, like, we got lucky with that leopard. Yeah. And that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you to Don. No problem. And thank him for a lot of tips today. Uh, we're going to be collabing much more this year. And we're gonna be doing a lot more salt water. We will get them out here, mock my words. Like one more time, I wanna thank Don, man. My pleasure, dude. Really appreciate it, dude. It was a pleasure fishing with you, man. We'll do wherever. We don't, not, not necessarily here at the beach, but maybe at a lake somewhere. Yeah, he knows some good spots at yeah. uh, a big bear. Oh you yeah. Go to his channel and you yeah. guys will see. He, he knows how to get them. So go ahead and go to his channel, guys. And thank you guys for watching this video today. Please like, comment, subscribe. It's a junior angler, signing out.